This is the plaintiff, Patricia Davis. She says she hired the defendant to take pictures at her wedding. And not only were they delivered to her two months late, they were terrible. She'll never again pay for anything ahead of time in full. She's learned a valuable lesson and hopes the judge will see things her way today because she definitely didn't get what she paid for. She's suing for $3,573.22, the amount she paid for the horrible pictures and other costs. This is the defendant, Christina Molinano. She says she shot for 10 hours at three different locations, and the plaintiff's just looking for a way to get free pictures. That's right, she's seen all types in this job, so nothing surprises her anymore, especially the likes of the plaintiff. Bottom line, she was hired to take pictures, she took great ones, and isn't gonna refund any money to this woman who's simply being unreasonable. She's accused of not getting a picture. All parties, please use your right hand. You see it, come to order, please. That against have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay, Patricia Davis. Yes. You are suing Christina Mo Malignano. Malignano and Life's Art Productions for $3,573.22 that you want paid back to you because according to you, the pictures that she took at your wedding are a disaster. Tell me what's going on. Well, I hired uh, the defendant in September of 17 to photograph my wedding. Okay. Um, the photo package that you selected cost $1,607.81. Right. Do you have the contract from that? Yes. Can I see it from both of you? Okay. All right. So that's the package you pick. Your wedding comes and goes, and you think things went well. She sends you a few photos, and you're happy with them, right? Yeah, I'm happy with those, and I tell her, you know, I can't wait in the email. Um, initially, at the, in September, she told me it would take six to eight weeks because it was Christmas time, you know, mm -hmm. the season. So in January, I think I sent her an email saying, where are we on the photos? And she never responded to my emails, and I texted her and said, hey, I sent you an email. So I had a girlfriend of mine who acted as my wedding coordinator reach out to her to ask her, and um, she actually called her back. And she explained to my girlfriend that um, she had just gotten over the flu, she needed two more weeks, and that the contract stipulates that she had 90 days. Right, so which far. was true. You were right. precipitous because you were right. anxious and wanted to see your pictures. Okay. Right. And then what happens? So that so 90 was days fine. come and go. So February, we reached back out, no response. And I believe March 1st, there was some uh, exchange via email with her, my girlfriend Daphne, myself, um, and she needed an additional two more weeks. And by that time, I was like, well, no. You know, I want my well, pictures now. you don't have now. much of a choice. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. I was like, you know, two more weeks. What's the problem? You said this. You, you made me, you know, adhere to the 90-day contract, and now you don't, and, you know, I'm just supposed to take it. You know, I told her, I said, look, I need some kind, of, some kind of compensation for the wait, if that's the case. And I got a call from someone who identified themselves as Bill, who claimed to be uh, the owner. So, um, Who's Bill? Oh, okay. Never and met what did Bill, Bill say? Bill said, you know, uh, she was sick, she was definitely ill, and, um, you know, you're just going to have to wait, and, uh, you know, if you don't, if you can't wait, you know, take us to court, and I'll go before any judge and tell them how she was definitely ill, and he... Okay, when did you get the pictures? I got the zip drive on April 11th in the mail, and it was just a zip drive. I didn't purchase prints, I didn't purchase a video, Right, you didn't buy it, anything. so you got what you were supposed right. to get, the USB... Right. Uh, the services of them taking pictures. Mm -hmm. Let's see exactly what full photography. Ten hours of coverage, two-person crew, up to four locations, USB hard copy, and I presume that this is the debate. Edited digital copies with full rights, four to 600 mm -hmm. photos. Okay. But what's your complaint, though? Because you ended up with a USB with how many photos? Um, I'd say 400 or so. Was it more than 470 that? 470 to be exact. Okay, and they're, if they're supposed to be edited, why don't you just call her back and say, listen, I'd like you to edit this or that? I did. I emailed her. Okay, what, let me see the email. Did you ask for money in the email? Did you no, ask no, her to no, edit? No, 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 no. I didn't. Let me see money. the email. Okay. Okay. These are the emails where you say, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. um, 
I have a few issues with some photos. Photo 806-808 is just of my makeup artist makeup collection. Do you have any other photo that can replace these? I don't see a need for me to pay for photos of makeup. Okay. I, I understand what you're saying. You don't want to edit the, the rest of them, but you have no problem giving her the rest of them in case she wants to edit she them. She wants to edit them. Okay. She wants to clean them up. It's her choice. She, she doesn't want to pay you more. She doesn't no. want to have anything to do with it. All right. Also, 1548 has someone in the picture actually taking a picture of the group, and you can see their hands. Did you get another picture of that doesn't have that person? Yes. I believe after If she... you did, then what are you complaining no, about? No, but it wasn't the same. Uh, the people were now looking differently. The first photo that I liked, people were looking well, at the camera. Well, why didn't you include the other one for me to see? You know, after she said she couldn't do anything else, then she sent it. So it wasn't like she replaced it right away. It was like, you know, that's it, we can't do it, blah, blah, blah. And then in an email later, which I have, she said, well, here's another one. Here's a similar one. I found one. You know, as if, I don't know yeah, where they give were her hiding. Yeah, all of the pictures. You don't care. Okay. All right, um, you complain about two pictures. That's it, that's all you do. So where is all the stuff that caused you to not only sue for $1,607 back, you want $95 because two people ate, that's part of the contract, is that you guys yes, don't have to starve while you're at the event. You 10 hours on my feet, Your Honor. 10 Say hours. I'm um, 10 hours on my feet with yeah, 25 yeah, yeah. pounds around and my neck. And then the cost of emailing thank you cards, and they should bear that. Why? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Are brides ever happy with all their wedding photos? No, they are not. Why is that? Uh, because sometimes we look fat or our angles are just off. Well, whose fault is that? <laughs> Ours. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I say the same thing. Or they get you, they shoot you from the wrong angle, and you know you don't look the way you thought you would when your picture was taken. Yeah, that's funny. When I used to go to a barbershop, I used to think, God, I want to look just like that, and it was Tom Cruise up there, and I look in the mirror and think, What the hell? Yeah. Go inside the courtroom. I couldn't wait until April to send thank you cards for a wedding that occurred in November. So Actually, Emily Post says that you can wait for an entire year after the wedding. But <laughs> that's just, I'm just telling you, that's what's said. But go well, on. people had begun to ask, where's yeah, the yeah. thank you cards? Okay, but why do they have to pay for it? What? Okay, and then you want $800 is your estimate for editing and reprints. Yes. Says who? Do you well, have I, an estimate? I reached out to... Uh, do you have a written estimate? Not an estimate, not necessarily. What do you have? I, I, have a, I reached out to a photographer who told me that um, she didn't do that, but however, she gave me two resources that did, and on their site, they have a price listing because she also mentioned that I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have the right. to What edit. proof do you have that it will cost $800 to edit? I don't, edit? it was a guesstimate. A guesstimate. It was. And then in the additional free-flowing guesstimate of your life, emotional distress, $1,000. <laughs> Yes, I mean, I had to You wait. had two complaints about the pictures you saw. The one main... is the group shot, and the other one is too many makeup shots. No. That's your only two... I'm reading right from here. Right, but I, I've... Later on, after reviewing all the photos, I found, like, five, four of these same photos with this same girl in it that I can't... What, am I going to frame it? So you want, you want four grand for that? I mean, seriously, no, come on. I mean, no, I mean, a lot of it was out of frustration and anger because I had to wait five months when she told me she Your had 90 days. frustration and anger is that you saw this as an opportunity to have a, some money knocked off the bill. She proposed to you, I think I should get some compensation for yes, this. Yes, ma'am. And you guys said, no, yes. I was sick, stuff happens. You I was only two weeks late, and I did ask her for those two weeks because I was really sick. I had 105 fever, and I don't, it's a, it's a uh, very, very detailed work that I do to build the album, and it's very custom. And if I'm sick, I can't put yeah. the effort in right. that, that she I, deserves. I, I'm surprised about the lawsuit, too. You got what you're supposed to get in March, which is that we thing, where right. you're supposed no. to then f give the feedback back, right. and then they're supposed to go ahead and, and, you know, your first thing is what you get in 90 days, right? Correct. That's what's it. It's, it's your digital proofs are retouched, digitally measured, and turned around in approximately 90, approximately mm -hmm. 90 days, approximately. Okay. So she gets sick, well, the woman can't get sick, then she sends them to you, then you send them back, and then there's additional work that happens after that. So what? So we're talking about, you know, like a, an extra month. How many times have you been married? Once. And good for you, let's keep it that way. <laughs> but you're gonna have to be a little more flexible if you wanna stay married as someone who just had her 25th wedding anniversary. I mean, I've had cases where people waited years. This was just a couple of weeks later and then you got it and the only thing you complained about were two or three pictures and now I'm about to have them give you all of them. Right. So that's what's gonna happen, that's how I'm resolving this case and as for you collecting $4,000 from them, no, verdict for the defendants. Thank you. 
So the judge thinks, Ms. Davis, the plaintiff's being very unreasonable and you don't get anything. How about yes, that? Okay. You know, the pictures look great. They look fine, but, uh, you know, they were just very unprofessional and it took over the 90 days that she told me that it yeah, was. Yeah, but it's a couple of weeks. Don't you think you're being a little unreasonable? Well, she told me it would take six to eight weeks. So, I mean, I could be, but they were very unprofessional. But so my there response. There were good pictures, though, weren't there? Didn't some, you like some? Some of them? were, some were. And I wish I could have had the other ones cleared so that I could frame them. So, some were. I mean, I'm not complaining about the work totally, but the unprofessionalism and the, you know, um, no no actual reason for the, the extra delay. Right. No, but she was sick. She yeah, said that. That was in December. She okay, had been okay. clear. She was fine. Sorry. You're a little unreasonable, you lose the case. Okay. But you got the picture. And they'll give you all the pictures. pictures. Yeah. Okay. I'll wait for those. I'll see so how long it takes for me to get those. Won't take you long. Bet Thank you. you. Okay. Thank Very good. All right. Ms. Melanano. Hi. What do you think? Well, I think the judge was right, and um, I think it was a good case. It was a good case. Yes. Pictures, I thought the pictures looked pretty good. Well, thank you. I try hard with my work. I love my work. I love my job. I love making them look beautiful. I'm very sorry I, I was a disappointment to her. Okay. Well, good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. you must sign a few documents Thank on your you. way out of the courtroom, and that'll do it for this case. Harvey, what do you think? Okay, so this is actually kind of an objective thing, which means that if these photographs are good to a reasonable person, like a reasonable person, then tough luck if subjectively the bride doesn't like it. It's all what a reasonable person would want. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.